this is a double-sided case. This one has two covers. It's got a cover right here that comes off with all these bolts. And on this side it has the same thing, making it completely reversible. Just swap the ring gate to the other side and you have basically four speeds in reverse and one in forward. So don't screw that up if you ever rebuild the tranny. But this is the one mine has, which uses that mount, which also has the, the urethane mount which goes right there out of that nice, I think it was 20 bucks the whole kit I have the transmission pads right here that sit on the cradle right there for the transmission um, I'm gonna sandblast all this stuff, it's a lot of cleaning if you don't want to clean a lot of greasy stuff, don't start a trike <laughs> I'm gonna go over here some kind of in the light, I don't have the lights on in here so I shut the radio, but I've been cleaning this probably three hours. I have a new spring for here, so I'm going to get that out. That's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know what year this training is. It does have the reverse light switch. It does not have the neutral safety switch. So you could start this thing in gear, but if you get any brains, when you start in a, a standard car, you uh, push the clutch in. So I could always make a switch off the clutch. Uh, I nitpicked in corners and it was really greasy. These two bolts are missing because that's where the uh, cable goes for the clutch. I ground the face off of this in an attempt to get it off, but it won't come off yet, so still working on that. I have another one anyway. It's hot and it's got to be 90 out. I'm going to throw my shorts on and go swimming with the kid. Have a good day. Now these uh, transmissions were identical in uh, condition. They were both this greasy. I mean this is the bottom side. It's pretty bad. There's a lot of dirt in there. And here's the clean one. Like I said I used um, WD-40. Soaked it all down. Let it sit. Washed it off with the garden hose. Um, then I had Simple Green. And something else I use. What the hell? Is it? Oh, it's like hand cleaner. Hand cleaner degreaser. And I picked around in the corners with a screwdriver. And uh, I did take the tail cone off, although I didn't show you that. I took the tail cone off and cleaned up the hockey stick. That's a hockey stick right there. It comes down and it goes over between three rods that control your gears. You know, first, second, third, fourth, reverse. That is your reverse light, so this would be reverse. Um, yeah, looks good pretty clean. I'm thinking black. Uh, I gotta take the rubber mounts off those are junk. I'm thinking black or silver or something but anything better than grease. But it's so wide open in the trike not like it's gonna get dirty it's just gonna look like corroded aluminum if I left it like this. So I think silver would be good. Maybe we'll go with silver. All depends. Um, but yeah what a difference. Holy cats. This is the nose cone. And this one, like I said, has two bolts. This one has two bolts, but it's completely different. This nose cone would go right on that transmission, but it's not the correct one. And it's got two switches. I wish it fit. I wouldn't mind having a reverse and a neutral safety switch. But I don't need it. But that's it. It's got to be 90 degrees. I just turned my fan on. I've been sitting right here, scraping off grease and cleaning up the frame and this, that, and the other. I did cut the long piece off of the uh, the exercise equipment there. Yeah, it's standing up. Um, so this is one big step out of the way. And hope we can get some more done. Either way, have a great weekend.
Well, no better time like the present. I found some silver paint, and I just did a quickie, and I ran out of paint. I painted this side. I didn't get the face plate down there. And it ran out over here, but... Clean! I just gotta get another little can of paint. And on this, I um, got it all cut and decided to spray bomb it black. I had one full can of black. I don't know if you can hear me. Get the fan going. But it is black. Yeehaw! I figured, you know what? It's not that bad. If, uh, if I had to get a sandblast, that'd be like 60 bucks, whatever. If I had to get a powder coat, it'd be another 80 bucks. You know what? A can of paint's 8 bucks. It's lasted how many years? And it made it this far. Now it's got a fresh coat of black paint to keep it alive a little longer as another vehicle. What do you do? I am going to sandblast this. I'm going to bring this over to Don's house right now because it's pretty rusty. I like to paint that too. I don't want to paint over the rust that much. That's a lot of rust. So I'm going to do that right now. Back in a bit.